the hottest new social entertainment show that critics are calling, let's see here, the next big thing, especially if Nick goes to the kitchen again. Who writes this? Who writes this? All right. All right, I'd like to remind you that you can leave Facebook comments in the chat down below. I can see them on my screen. If you have questions for me, you have questions for the guests, you can uh, leave them there. We'll try to get to everybody. Now I'd like to bring on my guest today. He is a business owner, a musician, a friend of mine, and an all-around great guy. He's the owner and operator of CMS Bank Card Services in Wheeling. Please welcome Mr. Dean Connors. Hey, Dean. Hey. You're here. How you doing? <laughs> I'm well. How are you, buddy? Doing great. Doing great. Good to I've, see you. I was trying to think in how many different ways have you interviewed me uh, over been the years. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Dean and I go way back uh, to my radio days, uh, my early radio days. I, I had a, a show of for local musicians, and Dean was on with a, a number of different bands, uh, starting with Tongue in Cheek and later with Zane Run. Um and uh and and we've done i, I can't countless other things you were on my podcast we've done uh just you, general you worked for me for a minute i did work for you for a minute <laughs> i did we've we've done about we've done it all yeah absolutely good friend I, I, you're one of my important people in my life that's great that's good to hear uh likewise as well i've uh went to your um I shot your kid in the face with fireworks. <laughs> you did. I was just going to bring up the uh, 4th of July party. Now, Dean has a, uh, a big major 4th of July party every year at his house. Um, and, and we've been there a couple of times. Last year uh, was the most recent. And, and Hudson did take a uh, firework to the face. It's not funny. but It's, it's, it's funny because he's okay. It's, it's funny now. Right. It's funny now. It's funny because he's okay. He's all right, and uh, he had he had a lot of fun with giant Jenga. And, and he had the the I, giant Jenga, like the big two by four Jenga. Yeah, loved it. <laughs> loved it. And I told you, man, like you were setting it up for him and just watching him topple it over. I'm like, you do it once, man. You're gonna do it a thousand times the rest of the night. He's a good kid. I like him. He is a good kid. He's all right. He takes after his mother. <laughs> Not too bad. He's got his mom's hair. Yeah, he certainly does. He certainly doesn't have his daddy's hair. That's for sure. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, so what's new? How's business? Uh, well, biz business is slow, daddy. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. We, look, I think we should explain what we do. It's um, CMS Bank Card Services. We've, I started 11 years ago. We have a couple of different things that we do. One entire side of our business is uh, we have a, a pretty good sized network of ATMs. The ATMs obviously that are in the bars and restaurants are just sitting there not making a penny because no, no one's allowed in the bars and restaurants. Right. We do have a few in uh, some pretty good sized gas stations and those doing okay with uh, people getting their uh, stimulus uh, money direct deposited and they want to get some money out of their uh, account. Um, the other side of our business, which we'll talk about a little bit more, is the point of sale side, where we sell point of sale systems that you know sit on your countertop and run your inventory and your cash drawer and everything. Um, you know, it's slow. I mean, the economy has hit the brakes quickly, but we'll be okay. I mean, we, we're diversified, and uh, you know, I don't want to. We're okay. We'll be fine. Um, what? Uh, some of the things I want to talk about, we uh, mentioned were uh, safety. You know, now everyone's sanitizing their hands every five seconds and washing their hands, which is a good thing. Um, one thing I think that people should utilize more is their mobile wallets. Um, I had prepared to demonstrate on my phone how to get to your mobile wallet, but now I have to use my phone for this thing. So I can't do that. <clears throat> but if, if you're using an Apple phone, at least, I don't know about Android, but an Apple phone, you literally click on the icon that says wallet. There's a little plus sign. You, you hit the plus sign. You take a picture of your credit card or debit card, and now that's in your phone. When you go up to the credit card terminal at your gas station or convenience store or wherever, try to get in the habit of just using that tap to pay and you never have to get your wallet out. You never have to get your credit card out. And you shouldn't have to hit any buttons on that machine. So I'm glad you brought that up because I've never really fully grasped the, the, the Apple Pay thing. I had it set up in my phone and like I didn't know how to like use it. So you can just take your phone and, and 
Like just touch you hold it. You just hold your phone up to the thing and it, it yes. goes. It doesn't even have to touch it. It goes near it. You have your fingerprint button. You know, yeah. I have an iPhone 8, so the yeah. fingerprint button confirms your purchase and you put your phone back in your wallet. You get a you get a digital receipt. You know, yeah. I use it at Starbucks and all over the place. Um, now Apple Pay and using your debit card are two different things. They're similar, but you can use your actual debit card from mm -hmm. Wherever you bank by just having it in your phone digitally. Apple oh. Pay, Apple Pay is a, a way for me to send you or, or you to send me. Oh, oh, okay. So it's two different things. Right. Yes. Um, Apple I'm, Pay. I have a I'm daughter. I'm looking at it now. I have a daughter in California, okay. and uh, uh, her, her birthday's coming up. So to send her money, <clears throat> I just used my Apple Pay literally from wherever I was at that moment. I see. Uh, I sent her money. Back. Okay, so I, Apple Pay and Wallet are two different things. It's two different apps now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so wallet is what keeps your your debit your credit card and stuff. Sure. You okay. Can put, you can put airline tickets in your. I wallet. saw that. You can yeah. put um, gift certificate gift cards in your wallet, but it's all on your phone, and yeah. it's just one less thing that you have to use to touch. The one less thing you have to touch. That's a great point. That's a great idea. And it's one of those things, like I said, I think I fiddled with it, went to set it up one time and just never messed much with it. So I'm going to look more into it. That's a great idea because you don't have to touch anything. You don't have to touch anything. I, 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 I'll tell you a story. I was in a recording studio one time and we were setting up the drums and I had like a, it takes them like an hour to set up the microphones. So I said, well, I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee while you guys are you yeah. know, doing that stuff. I get in my car, I drive all the way to this shop which is like a good 10 minutes away not that big of a deal but as i i get there and i go to walk in i realize i don't have my wallet i forgot yeah. my wallet at home turned around drove all the way back to the recording studio sat down and went i sure do have my phone <laughs> and i went coffeeless because i didn't feel like driving all the way yeah. back out there right but it's getting in the habit of i have everything right here in my phone my debit card my credit card is in my phone mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of, you know. That's a good point. I like that. I like that. I try to make good points, Nick. You're, you're full of good points, Dean. Full of something. So, so uh, the, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, as far as the ATM goes, we are, I am looking at um, maybe mounting a sanitize, hand sanitizer to the side of the ATM. So as soon as you hit the buttons, you can squirt some uh, hand sanitizer. Whoop, there good goes idea. my phone. Sorry. Um, uh, I don't know. That's something I got to look at, and then I got to figure out how to mount it to it, and how to make it so no one steals it, and you know, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So what? So what services do you offer for businesses? So obviously, a business needs an ATM. They can call you. You bring an ATM and set it down, and you take care of all of the stuff. Right. So the it, other side of my business is the hardest part that I have explaining to people. Yeah, the ATM side is easy because everyone understands how that works. The uh, well, you'd think everyone understands how that works. They, <laughs> they really don't understand that that's not their money. Their money's in their bank. That's our money, and you're borrowing it from us, and you're paying us three dollars to do so. Anyway, um, the the other side of the business is the uh, credit card processing side. Most business owners understand what credit card processing is, although some don't have any idea how to minimize their costs. And there's still those guys out there that don't, won't take a credit card because, well, I heard it cost 5% and there couldn't even be, there couldn't be more wrong. Yep. Um, even the, uh, the flat rate people, the 2.75 uh, people, um, we can, we can do better than that for sure. Um, when you, for the general listening public, I guess, when you use your debit card, or your credit card at a, Anywhere, restaurant, you know, whatever. Um, uh, sorry, I got a text message now. That it, 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 all messages me. Come up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Susan said the crawl is covering my face. I'm not supposed. To, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fix that. I'm not. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let me raise my chair. This is. Hey, how's that? Um, this is like this is like FaceTiming with my mom. <laughs> Thanks. How does, how does that work? Am I close enough? <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway, um, <laughs> we uh, we process those credit cards. We when you, when you use your credit card at a place, you spend a hundred dollars. The place doesn't get a hundred dollars; they get like ninety eight dollars because there's a fee to process that payment. Yeah. We 
give people, you know, great rates, fantastic service. One of the things in this, you know, COVID-19 uh, era is we were able to set people up with curbside so they could come to your car with your food and take your credit card right there on the spot versus, well, let me take your credit card and run back inside the store. Right. That is an advantage of having a local processor versus somebody you found on the internet. Um, it's, that is one of my pet peeves when I see people with signs all over their restaurants say, shop local, eat local, buy local. And where'd you get your credit card? Uh, where'd you get your uh, point of sale system? On the internet. Yeah. <laughs> POS.com. Yeah, great. Um, speaking of that, whoop, there you go again. <laughs> hey, you're the one that screwed. This up. I'm, I'm balancing I precariously I here. Anything up. Don't blame that um, on me. <laughs> uh, CMSBankCard.com is a good place to go. That's where CMS you want to go. Card. Yeah. CMS Bank Card. So that's just, I mean, it's what we do. We're here during this pandemic. I have signed at least two new businesses, maybe a couple more. We have upgraded one restaurant's point of sale system at two of their locations. Uh, I've had multiple uh, merchants call me and, you know, I'm having a problem doing it because they're all of a sudden overnight, their business model changed. And when their business model right. changed, instead of panicking, it's like, call your local processor, figure it out. Maybe we got to move your system over to by the door. You know, I know someone had put a, a new drive up or walk up window. So you don't have to go in the restaurant. Yep. They walk up and knock on the window and there it is. Um, yeah. That's the benefit of having a local processor because good luck right now trying to call that 800 number and get a hold of that company in San Francisco that processes your credit card. Right, right. And, and I know just from working with you and I, I've gone on some runs with you doing, doing different things with your business and, and I know that your customer service is, is great because you can just reach out, out call Dean and, and get an answer, figure it out. Um, and, and your team is always going to be you know, very, very good at that. So for a business owner, say a business right now, maybe it's a restaurant or a takeout or like a little gas station, something, you know, not a huge business, but they don't take credit cards right now. They don't, you know, like you said, they don't want to mess with it. Uh, you can make it super easy. Call you up. What's the process like? I need a, a POS system. Help me out here. We could do it without ever coming into your restaurant. We could do, we do everything digitally. You sign the contract digitally. Obviously, we could explain it via a phone call or a video call or whatever. Um, it comes to you completely set up. You plug it in. Now, the, 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 the bigger ones, you know, you have to you get a kitchen printer. You know, sometimes those need to be hardwired. Sometimes they can run on Wi-Fi. Right. Uh, but a basic system, the one we just, we just signed somebody. I don't want to say who it is because I don't know what they want people to know. But uh, we, sh we shipped it to them. They opened the box. They plugged it in. They were up and running. Um, <laughs> It's, it's very simple. I would imagine these things are a lot easier than they were 10 years ago, 20 oh, years ago. By far. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's as easy as doing a, a video call with you and, and <laughs> the, the app not working on my laptop at the last second. It's actually, it's actually easier than that. It's easier than this. <laughs> uh, no, they, they, everyone, whether like it or not, has become more savvy on yep. using phones and laptops and, uh, Maybe that's one good thing to come out of this pandemic is that people will now use video calls more. I have I have video uh, called sometimes using Facebook Messenger or whatever. Some friends that I haven't seen in decades yeah. just surprised them and hit them with that video call. Yeah. And you know, one buddy of mine in Harrisburg, I haven't seen him in years. He used to be my best friend when we lived out there. He's just sitting on his couch, you know, drinking a beer, and he's like. I thought you butt dialed me. Whoops. <laughs> he said, I thought you butt dialed me. And he's like, yeah. and we talked for 45 minutes and literally hadn't seen the guy in forever. Yeah. It's one of those things. Video conferencing is not a new technology, um, but I think we only ever used it when we absolutely needed to. Um, right. And now that we're in a situation where it's making our, our day-to-day -day lives easier, I've had, I don't know how many Zoom calls today just for work and with business and, and different things. Um, you know, I'm using it constantly, and I think it's really changing the way we're, we're doing business and changing the way we do almost anything right now. I think so. Um, uh, I've used it, for example, I'm working on the inside of an ATM. Something has malfunctioned or gone wrong in there. And I'm trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out, and I'm with the tech, you know, who's in Montana. Uh, right. I said, hold on a minute. 
and I can video him and literally put the phone inside. Show him what you're looking at. Is this screw in the right place or this light is blinking green, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, I, yeah, I mean, you can use it in everyday life. Uh, grandparents are using it to see grandbabies and yeah, uh, yeah all that kind of stuff. Cooking, you're, you know, I'm a, I'm, if you follow me on Facebook, I'm a terrible cook. But, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like you're doing an all right job. I've had a <laughs> lot of help. I've had a lot of video help. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, you find ways to use it. And it's, no, I guess it, you're right. It's always existed, but now it's in our pockets. It's, yeah, right. It used to be like, well, let's all go down to the conference room right. where we have the video screen. And, yeah. You know, the CEO is up on the screen talking to us. It's like, no, it's right in my, it's in my hand. You can do it anywhere. Do it it's anyway. easy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So CMS Bank Card Services, uh, your website is cmsbankcard.com. Is that right? Correct, sir. Okay. Um, or deanconnors.com. Or Dean Connors. Do you have a deanconnors.com? Deanconnors.com, yeah. Do you? I've never, I've never, I didn't know that. It's the first time I've out. actually like said it. To oh, this is the, uh, this is the, audience. The, yeah. the unveiling party. Yeah. Deanconnors.com. I'm a little shy. I'm a little, not shy. I'm just like, I don't know. But it's all there. Real estate is on there. Music. Uh, Zane Run is on there. Um, uh, of course, the credit card business is on there. And community involvement and that sort of stuff. Tell me about uh, Zane Run real quick while, you're, while we got you. Zane Watch Run? This. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know what you're planning there. Can you see it? No. I put, put the banner down at the bottom. It says DeanConnors.com. It's, it's like a news sticker. Nice, there you go. nice. I can't see that, but that's great. <laughs> Tell me about the band. How's the band doing? Obviously, you guys aren't playing any gigs at the moment. No, not at the moment. Um, we are. Uh, our, our little family, our little Zane Run family is going to get a little bit bigger very soon. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, we had some changes when the, when the world becomes back to normal, hopefully. Um We've uh, got some some new stuff cooking. We were just literally before they shut everything down. We had been rehearsing and getting our ducks in a row, and then the big bad government came and pulled the plug on us, or the big bad COVID bug yeah, thing right. happened. So uh, Zane runs a lot of fun. That's uh, a band I started several years ago now with uh, Justin Rector and Brad Wilson, and. Uh, now we've got you know Chase Berkey and Jason Jump and somebody else coming soon. Ooh, um, who is it? I have to wait. Wait till we do that announcement. Um, but you know we've we've played on some great big stages and we've played on some very small little stages. <laughs> wow. um, our song we released uh, last year is called "If I Don't Die in West Virginia," and it's gotten a ton of airplay uh, all over the place, even Pittsburgh and you know, all around West Virginia. Yeah. Um, so pretty proud of that, and we we write, we have some original stuff. We're mostly cover band because that's what people want to see. But sure, you know, ZaneRun.com. Well, Zane well, hopefully, Run. hopefully this whole thing blows over soon. You guys get back out onto the stage, and I, I think everybody's itching, especially musicians are itching to get out and play again. Yeah, that's a tough one. It is tough, and you know, tip of the hat to those bands that are recording from home and uh, making things happen. We. Uh, we all live, our Zane run, we all live kind of, some, some couple guys live kind of far away, so it's a little tough yep. to do. Um, you know, <laughs> it, it's, we, we are dying to get back. I, I, yeah. I, hats off to the guys that are the acoustic guys that are like putting on concerts in their living room. That is very cool. I, I'm not going to, I, I know I'm going to forget somebody. Tim Olam did one. Jim Bursey did one. Um I think Ezra, I don't know if Ezra did one or not. I think so. Yeah, Ezra's uh, done some stuff. I, I believe Brett Kane's done some stuff too. Brett Kane, did, I, I'm going to forget yeah. somebody. I forget. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, there's there's so many guys uh, in the Ohio Valley that are are playing music online Justin, right now. Just, it's, Justin Rector did one. He's, he's yeah, my you forgot your own bandmate. Cool. <laughs> it's easy to forget Justin sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can, uh, look, you can look right over his head. He's just forget he's there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin. I'm sorry. I can't believe you. Um, all right. Dean Connors, CMS Bank Card Services. If you need Dean, uh, get on deanconnors.com, cmsbankcard.com. Um, and uh, and good luck to you, Dean. Hopefully things open back up and, uh, and business will be all right. You guys will be good. I know you. Thanks. I got to say hi to my dad and Ron. They're watching. Hi, dad and Ron. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. Nick, thanks for having me on, buddy. All right. Thanks, Dean. Appreciate it. See ya. See you later.
That is Split Screen, a production of Love OV. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Dean, for joining. We are back again on Thursday with another great guest live at 2 o'clock. Thanks for watching. This has been Split Screen.